What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching guys how to private your games as well as your games library or collections on Steam. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple. And first thing that you guys need to do is you wanna make sure that you have your Steam open like I do right here. So here's what the Steam window looks like. And the idea here is we would want to get access to our games library. So it'd be this one right here. You'd want to hover over library, click on home, and it should take you to this page right here. Now, there is a key difference between privating your games as well as setting them to hidden. Now, if I were to set, um, let's say, a game that I have on my Steam account uh, as hidden, what's going to happen is it's going to be transferred over to a different collection. So let's pretend that I want to um, hide some uh, one of my games from my friends or the activities as well, like my recent um, games played from... Uh, on, on Steam, so let's say I'll do it for uh, Apex, for example. So I'd right click on it, like so, and then you'll see that under Manage, there's two options being Hide this game and Mark as private. So this one, just ignore it because this is only for the games that you don't currently have installed. So if I were to hide this game, it would put it in a different uh, collection or library, which you can find here. So you'd click on View, click on Hidden Games, and there it is. And to restore it, um, simply go through the same steps, move from hidden, and you guys are done. Now, like I said, the difference with this and private is that um, some effects uh, come in play when you private the game. And those effects being, um, if you were to private the game, it's going to be saved in a different collection. And what's going to happen is it's going to hide all of the activity from your profile. So every single trace, every detail, every achievement that has to pertain with the game it's going, is going to be hidden uh, from your profile, from your friends. So if I were to um, do so for, let's say, Fall Guys, now I'm not actually going to do it because I actually play this game. So uh, the idea is, um, well, instead of Fall Guys, let's do something else. Let's do Yakuza. So let's say that I don't want my friends to know that I'm playing this game. I'm going to right click on it, manage, Mark as private. Now, what's going to happen is this window is going to pop up when you click on Mark as private. Mark as private. Marking a game as private will hide it uh, everywhere outside of your library. Your ownership, in game status, playtime, and activity will not be visible to other people. So, um, this will be kept in a different collection, much like um, if you were to click on view and click on hidden games, it's going to show you a new tab where it'll take you to your private games. Now, like I said, the key difference is it'll hide everything um, pertaining to um, Yakuza from your friends. So this includes um, playtime, achievements, uh, when you recently played it, and so on. And that's how you guys do it. So yeah, that's the video. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. So yeah, thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.